All right, it's Saturday, October 30th. It's 8.25 a.m. back at Wade Creek. I haven't been back here in three weeks. I had continued car problems and then it's been raining like crazy over here. So first time back in three weeks. I'm hopeful today because Nick Armstrong was here yesterday. I uh, did very well, but unfortunately he was using sand shrimp, which I never use. So I'm just hoping to get lucky. So I did bring my mole crab net though. So I'll, if I don't get any action on the worms, then I'm going to start using mole crabs. Uh, high tide. So it's 825 again. High tides at 915 or 910. So about 40, 45 minutes away. It's about a six foot high tide. Swell energy is in the mid 600s today. Since winter's set in, I'm looking for days close to 1,000 and under. Whereas in the summer, I was looking for energy swells of 500 and less. And many days I went out on 200 and 100 swell energy days. So uh, it's going to be a new experience. High tide's about 6.3 feet, I believe. Six and a half feet. I'm going to go right to the north where I saw Nick have his action. And that's where I've always usually done well here this past year. All right. See how it goes. Well, what a gorgeous day. Temperatures about mid 45s. There's no wind. It's a little chilly, but man, what a gorgeous day. Skies are blue. Um, and it's such a clear, clear day today. 15 minutes, this is my fourth cast. There's a really strong drift going from right to left because I'm having to rebend my spider weight legs every time I cast now. So zero action, four casts, and I'm trying to do what Nick Armstrong said he was getting success on, which is letting the waves come in, um, and hopefully he'll bring the fish in. So I just noticed as tide's coming in, the waves are actually moving out. So that doesn't make sense to me, but um, I just noticed the crashing waves because it's really shallow here now. And it just is interesting because I was just observing the waves and why I'm not getting any bites. Anyway, what a beautiful day. Sun just started coming up over the hills, putting it on the waves. Man, what a beautiful day. But there's a seal within casting distance. So, you know, I always look at that as, well, there's got to be fish here if there's a seal here. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. So I've been here 25 minutes, got in about seven, eight casts, but no matter where I go on the north side, there's a really strong drift from right to left. So I'm casting faster than i'd like to a couple times my weights ended up behind me so uh, i haven't had a drift this strong in a long time all right so been here half an hour i just actually had my first fish uh, it was a silver that just came off the hook as i was pulling it to my feet but uh first bite been here 30 minutes got in about that was like cast number eight again no matter where i go in the north there's a strong right to left drift I'm changing my tactic now, which is I've been casting and just let it drift and then reel in. But now what I'm doing is as it's drifting, I'm reeling in. So I'm trying to reel in as it's drifting because maybe the fish are closer than I think. And by just letting it drift on its own, it's staying pretty far out. So that's the first time I tried that tactic and I got a bite even though it's a silver. All right, back to fishing. 45 minutes. Got in about 12 casts. Got one silver that I missed because uh, of a GoPro moment. Oh, the seal's right there. I mean, it's really close. But anyway, um, other than that, I've had zero action. I'm about halfway between the trees and the house houses. And uh, I would tell you that there is still a strong drift from right to left no matter where I go. So I'm going to start heading back south, uh, trying to decide how long I want to stay. It's uh, hitting high tide right now, so I might just bag it when I get to the parking lot. But man, what a gorgeous day again. I'm going to get mole crabs ever since I got here. I ended up getting one, but in the 45 to 50 minutes I've been here, and I've tried about 15 places. You know, I've tried multiple times at the same place I'm at, and I just can't get them. I got one, but it was so big I didn't want to use it. All right, I'm gonna keep drifting south now. With that at high tide, the big waves would be really close and it'd be really deep, but it's really shallow now and it's peak high tide right now. So it's like, you gotta let all the waves come in and then it gets kind of deep, but the big waves have moved way out now. I don't know if you can see how shallow it is, but 
man it's way shallow to where the waves are just starting to break now and then you got to cast away out there this might be fellow member barb coos she just had a shoulder surgery and she just wanted to get some fresh air so i think she's just going to come to visit and say hi but man she sure picked a good day to do it because the weather is beautiful it's funny as i start moving south man the drift really picked up from right to left now so it's even worse here than it was near the houses let's see how she's doing see how her shoulder's doing so been here just go on 55 minutes now uh, about 12 to 13 casts no action other than that one silver about cast nine hey barb uh one small silver half an hour that's it how you, how's your shoulder done I can imagine. But How's I your that. driving? Uh, yeah, especially since it's a stick shift. Watch out. Oh, it's a stick shift. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That must be super hard. Well, I, oh, you picked a really good nice day to come out. Well, I'm glad you were coming out because I was going to come even if I was coming alone because I just had to get out of the house. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. If we're, we're, see, see that seal right there? He's like about 20 feet from me. So he's really shallow. But he's been with me just about all morning. Hasn't helped me though. Maybe he's scaring all the fish away. Still haven't caught a mole crab. Barb a lot, so I haven't been really paying attention to my fishing, but all of a sudden uh, my middle hook worm is bitten in half and then my bottom worm is gone. So I'm gonna try here again. I finally got my first one here. Um, back at the mouth of the creek. Let's let the waves bring it in. Feels like a red tail. But this is only the second bite I've had uh, since I've been here. Oh, yeah. Oh, a double. Oh, man. These are two big silvers. Wow, this is like the biggest silver I think I've ever got. I thought it was a red tail. So a double. Unfortunately, they're silvers. So that'd be fish two and three. But that was a long time coming. That's how big this silver is. Oh, um sorry fish all right so this one this is a nine inch silver yeah nine inch silver that's got to be my best i don't know if i get much bigger than nine inches but that's why i felt like a red tail because these are two decent decent sized silvers This one is, uh, yeah, this one's like eight and a half. So those are two decent sized silvers. No wonder it felt heavy. All right. So I've been here hour and a half. I'm guessing I got in like 15 or 20 casts. I kind of lost track when I was talking with Barb. So uh, three silvers though. I don't know if that counts, but actually those last two were pretty big ones. So I think they kind of count. I still would like to get a red tail though. It's past high tide and what I noticed as the tide was going out, uh, the waves like got closer and it got much deeper than it was at high tide. So uh, just interesting watching the waves. Okay, so been here just short of two hours. I'm guessing, I don't know, 20, 25 casts. I kind of lost track as I was talking to Barb, but I uh, only got three silvers today. You saw me get the double. And like I say, those two silvers are probably two of the biggest silvers I've ever caught. Uh, definitely the biggest double silver eye cotton. So, uh, other than those three fish, though, that was it. Nice meeting you, Barb. Nice seeing you again. Good to see you again. All right, take care. Hope your shoulder gets better real quick. That's my cat, my, my <laughs> sling right there. Okay. Three silvers. Those are the only three. Uh, that's the only action I got. I got no other bites and uh, no red tails at all today. And I tried to get mole crabs as well, but I just didn't have any luck finding them. Uh, no matter where I went. So I went to the north. I went from the mouth. Uh, and I went all the way up to the houses. Or just about halfway between the trees and the houses with no action. Uh, worked my way back and got the two silvers right at the mouth of the creek. A uh, very strong drift from right to left today no matter where I went. So I was casting a lot more than I had wanted to. But you know, it's not like I have control over that. So... So I don't know what it would be like with a claw or a disc sinker, but 
my feeling is that you would have been having a terrible time with the drift uh, because it was pulling my spider weight like crazy but what a beautiful day uh, didn't get skunked might come back tomorrow but we'll see all right that's the final wrap